What is up? This is Ben Wiley. I am a ground campus instructor at PureMind in San Francisco, and today I want to share with you a method of how I do my drums in Ableton. I call this multi-track drum racks. This came about by wanting to organize an entire sample pack in multiple channels within a group and be able to pull this into any other project and use it there. Uh, this is a pretty simple process, so let's get into it. First off, I'm going to start a new MIDI channel, Shift-Command-T, and I want to pull in an empty drum rack in here. Cool. I'm going to duplicate this out a few times. Cool, so I've got channels here for kicks, snares, hats, and percussion. So I wanna go into my samples here, and today I am using Imaginate's Paper Drum and Bass Sample Pack. And I'm gonna start off with kick, so I wanna go into the one shot. I'm gonna select the first one, and I'm gonna hold down Shift and click the last. And I'm gonna drag all these into my drum rack. I am not worried about putting these on particular notes. I just want all of them in one drum rack. So moving on, I'm gonna do the same for the snares. Select all of them and drag them in. Same for hats. And same for percussion. All right, I've got all these in. Now I wanna make sure that I name my channels appropriately. A uh, little quick tip here. If I keep the pound sign or the hashtag symbol at the start of the name, of each of these channels. When you move the channel to a different position, it will renumber the track according to the order that is in. This could be super helpful if you are uh, bouncing stems and you are getting ready to start a new mix session because everything is numbered. You don't have to worry about reorganizing all of the um, channels. So this is called Paper Drum and Bass. I'm gonna just call it P, D, and B. And these are my kicks. Tab over. P, D, and B snares. Hats. All right, and percussion. All right, all those are named appropriately. If I wanted to, I could go in and save this preset of my drum rack, but uh, I'm not worried about that right now. Actually, what I want to do is group all of these together. So select them all, hit Command-G, and I wanna make sure that I rename my group. All this PDMB drums. Cool, now that's all set to go. Everything is within a group. So I can just come in and draw in some clips here. I'm not really worried about this being the best beat we've ever heard, but see what happens. Get in some hats in here. Duplicate this out. And we'll get in some percussion and All 
All right, let's see what this sounds like. All right. So now what I want to do is open up my user library here. And I'm going to drag this entire channel in here. All right, this saves this as a uh, Ableton Live session or set, excuse me. Um, but actually what I'm looking for it to do is create ALC files. ALC files stand for Ableton Live Clip. What is great with these is they save all of your channel information. They save the MIDI or audio clip, any automation that is in the clip itself, any processing that is within your channel here. Um, this also saves any preset information even for third-party plugins, which is great. I don't even have to worry about saving the preset if I drag in and create the ALC file. Also, you get a preview when you are browsing in your browser section here. All right, so what are some of the benefits of using this method? Well, I have just organized an entire sample pack. Um, they are in one group and I'm able to save that group and drag it into my user library here. So I'm able to pull it in any project that I need to and have an entire drum sample pack ready to go at my fingertips. Also, there is no need to organize uh, one drum hit or uh, all the hits within a rack on specific notes. I don't have to worry about that. Everything's just in there. The kicks and the snares and the hats and the percussions are all separate. So I'm just worried about changing the note if I want to, say, use another kick here. Um, also, because everything is in separate channels, I now have very good use of my master sends and returns, which I prefer to use. Um, and I've just freed up my drum rack sends and returns, so I have an extra set of sends and returns now. Also, there is no need to extract my chains now. What I mean by this is when I'm ready to go into a mix stage, um, I like to bounce all my tracks to audio. Um, and with a drum rack, that would include uh, extracting all these chains so that I can pull my kicks apart from my snares and I can get all of my audio uh, existing in different channels. Then I would also have to go back and reorganize all these things. With my method, everything's already split up. I don't have to worry about that at all. I can just extract or bounce all of the audio out separately. Um, also, with editing notes, Everything does exist in separate MIDI clips, but an amazing feature of Ableton Live is I can actually select all of these. So I'm just going to hold down Shift, click the last one. And as you can see here, all of the MIDI notes are layered. So it looks kind of like they're in one clip, but actually we are editing each clip individually. So right now, um, my percussion notes are going to be editable so i can move them around I, I can edit these however i see fit let's say i wanted a new kick for my beat let's click on the kicks now i can see those are active so i can edit these guys however i want to so a couple of things you can't do with this method um, everything is not existing in one drum rack, so it doesn't exactly lend itself to playability if you're the kind of person that prefers to play a beat in real time. If you don't mind uh, doing the kicks separately from the snares and the hats, um, it will work that way. Also, this just really isn't set up if you're the kind of person that prefers to drag audio samples over here into the arrangement view. 
Uh, I think a huge part of becoming a better producer is learning a workflow that really works for you. This has proved to work really well for my workflow, and I hope you can find some use out of it as well. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day. Peace. If you're an aspiring music producer and ready to evolve your sound, find out more about our San Francisco Ground Campus, online classes, and one-on-one -on -one mentorships at Pyramind.com.